We're just less than 24 hours from the kickoff between the Hogs and Missouri State. The matchup is more anticipated than most between Arkansas and an FCS opponent. That's because of former head hog Bobby Petrino's uh, return to the hill and fans. Well, they're split. Saturday will mark 10 years since Bobby Petrino walked the sidelines of Razorback Stadium and tomorrow he could be greeted with some interesting welcome back gestures as Missouri State takes the field. Robert Sir has the story of a local business taking advantage of that reunion. Allison, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years since the infamous Bobby Petrino motorcycle accident that basically flipped the Arkansas football program upside down for a decade. And as Petrino returns to Fayetteville for the first time since 2012, well, a local business is celebrating that incident in a pretty humorous way. April 1st, 2012 is a day many Hog fans would like to forget. The day news broke that head football coach Bobby Petrino was involved in an accident while on his motorcycle. In the coming days, we'd learn not only was a woman with Petrino, but she was a university employee who was having an affair with him. In a news conference days after the accident, Petrino showed up wearing the now infamous neck brace. Now, 10 years later, he could be staring at thousands of neck braces that have been flying off the shelves of local businesses as fans parody that day. One of those is Collier's Pharmacy in Fayetteville. Manager Libby Miller tells me the braces have been a hot commodity. Well, we started getting calls a couple of weeks ago uh, for the neck brace, which is something we carry always because we have DME supplies here at the store. And yes, we had them. And then we started getting even more calls, and so we just kind of ordered a little bit extra. She adds they were confused at first when the calls for neck braces started coming in, but quickly put two and two together. We were not expecting them. We, as soon as we started getting them, realized why we were getting them. And, uh, yes, it's, it's mostly students and people just excited about the game. Miller adds she's seen the social media posts encouraging fans not to wear neck braces because it may make the fan base look bad, but she says it's all in good fun. And Allison, they still have plenty of neck braces here in stock at Collier's. You can pick them up for anywhere between 10 and $15. And based on the sales so far, the employees have told me, I'm sure you'll see plenty of students wearing one of these at kickoff Saturday evening in Fayetteville. Robert Sir, 4029 News.